Alright, so I'm going to show you how to do the stealth takedown. So in a third person template, I'm just going to make sure that you have uh, an enemy that you can test uh, the takedown on. So I already have an enemy set up, nothing special. This is the blueprint. We're going to go to viewport and over here we're going to get the box collision. So just get the box and you can put that minus 95 zero and zero and for the size you can make a bit bigger perfect from here also you're gonna get a scene component and this is gonna be the attack location and this one you can put minus 75 and minus 15 and 0 for Z and first thing you gotta make sure if you want to do the stealth kill is that you have a good animation for the stealth kill so this is the guy uh, this is the main character and this is the guy who's getting executed so make sure that you have both of these are wor working very well otherwise it's not going to give you good result so we're going to start by going in the uh, enemy blueprint once we did those two components and first thing we want to do is detect uh, the box the collision so over here make sure you put that custom and that it's overlapping about everything and you're going to get on begin overlap and also we're going to get on N overlap perfect and over here on overlap component you're gonna get owner and this you can promote to variable plug it in there and you're gonna call this one target actor and with this what you can do is a cast to third person character over here get player character and we need to make sure that we're sending the actor want to execute we're sending the uh, information over here and the third person character blueprint so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new variable which is going to be target actor okay. over here for variable type we're going to get an actor of object type object reference we're going to compile and alright so over here we can set the target actor let's bring this one down and plug this one over here and this one over here make it look a bit better what we can do is when we enter this box we're gonna make new variable this can stealth so the enemy can be killed and over here this is gonna be set to true and now we need to do the on component and overlap what we're going to do is take the target actor set it to null so you can reset it and take the can stale put it to false perfect so so now we can go back to the third person character and start doing logic for for actually doing the takedown so what we're going to do is a custom event this one can be takedown and first thing we're going to cast to enemy the enemy blueprint we're going to get the actor that we're trying to take down because remember when we're doing this we're getting a reference from a class 
but we're getting the actor from the class and we don't we want to be able to kill as many as possible as we want if we don't get the specific actor what uh, is going to happen is that we're going to be able to do if we put more than one npc in the map we're only only going to be able to kill one time one npc so we want to do as many stealth kill stealth kill as we want so that's why we're passing this reference specifically so i'm gonna do a get a variable can stealth over here also perfect and it's gonna be a boolean of course i'm gonna get it and set it and we're gonna get the value of uh, can stealth and the other one uh, sorry we're gonna get the value of can stealth and plug it in this one and we're gonna take uh, an input from the player over here see if you want to so let's say left shift perfect and we're gonna branch first of all we're gonna branch on the fact is the enemy already dead or is the enemy already execute because if it's already dead we basically we don't want to do anything so if this is false we can go and again branch and on can stealth over here if it's true that we can stealth we're going to create a new variable and we're going to call this one a takedown sequence so it's basically gonna stop a bit uh, and play the animation for both of the player the takedown sequence and before we continue in this blueprint we're just gonna go in this one and for this is gonna be the comment this on for the event overlap it make it look good so over here we're gonna do a new custom event to check if the player is uh, dead so this one we can call custom event executed and over here just create a new variable which is gonna be variable execute executed uh, set it to true if the enemy is actually dead and very simple we're gonna play anim montage over here to get the right animation and over here let's go ahead comment this out executed event and maybe put it red and we need to get the montage which is going to be uh, from the guy who's going to be e executed because this is the enemy blueprint so over here we're going to use this one and what I've, I've already did is I take the animation and I create an montage okay. perfect so I'm going to take the montage don't forget the animation enable root motion so i'm going to go back to the enemy blueprint and i've already selected this one so this is perfect and what we what we also need to do for the enemy is on even tick we got to get the position of where we want to do the stealth takedown so we're going to create a variable stealth attack location and this one over here is going to be a transform and you're going to get the scene component get a copy of that and you can get the world transform and on even tick set this one
perfect. And to finish the event tick, we're just gonna branch and to see if the guy is executed. What we can also do to make it look even better is just wait a little bit. So let's say two seconds. And over here, we're gonna simulate physics, simulate uh, ragdoll physics on the body, the mesh. So it's gonna be fine like this. Just comment this out, uh, even tick. And do it like this. All right, so on the mesh over here, you want to make sure that you select Ragdoll if you want to get uh, the set simulate physics to work. So this is just to make it look better with the animation. So we're going to go back to the third person character and so we can finish this function. So after the takedown sequence, we can cast cast to enemy. The enemy blueprint. And over here for this object is going to be our target actor. And we're going to call the function execute for the enemy that we were trying to kill. And to do this, it, uh, it's going to work better if we just stop uh, movement immediately of the character. So go ahead and take one copy of that. Plug it over here. And also over here, what we can do is set collision to, to make sure we don't have uh, overlap. So we're going to make sure we set the connection of the capsule component uh, to false, to no collision while we're doing the takedown. And we can just uh, set it back to uh, set it back to uh, collision enable right, right after we did the takedown. So this is not going to be a problem. So the last thing we are going to get over here is our uh, stealth attack location. So get a copy of that. And over here, split structure by pin. And bring this one over here. And to do the takedown, what we're going to do is that we're going to move the component, move component 2. And we're going to plug the stealth attack location and the location and the rotation over here. And for the component, it's going to be the capsule component. This, this capsule component. And right after, right after, what we can do is play the ending montage for the main character. So in there, just choose the stealth kill and delay for the duration of the animation and what you want to do after is set it back take down sequence to false and you can grab again let's say this capsule component over here and set the collision the collision enable gonna set it back to collision enable perfect so over here in the top we want also to get the executed variable so get this one and the already execute we're gonna set it to this value go ahead and uh, we're going to comment this out event egg execute and also on even tick over here we're just gonna call this uh, function takedown 
and leave it over here. Leave and take. Perfect. So you're gonna hit compile, and we're going to test this on this guy. So when we hit left, left shift, we should be able to take this guy down. And once, since we pass the variable, what we can do over here is if we take this one and duplicate, just copy paste, um, we're going to be able to take a couple of these guys down, which is pretty cool because that's what you would want. So you're taking this guy down. And you see at the end, they're going to be affected by a ragdoll effect. So this is pretty cool.